everyone and welcome back to Camping with Emmy. I'm Denise. Emmy is our cute little pug dog. In this episode of Camping with Emmy, I'm going to be doing a guest bathroom transformation. Now this bathroom is the largest bathroom in our home and I really wish it was the primary bathroom, but alas, it's not. If you saw my French Toile bathroom makeover video, that's the primary bathroom and it's very tiny. But I am going to make this bathroom look absolutely stunning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the walls, we're going to put up some chair rail, and I purchased this beautiful William Morris wallpaper. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to see how this is going to look on the walls. Also, I'm going to show you a neat little trick for framing in an existing mirror that has water damage, so you don't have to take the mirror down in order to make it look brand new. I'm also going to be making a beautiful custom balance for the window behind me. So, without further ado, let's get started. before we get started. If you've recently painted your walls, you want to wait a couple of weeks before you put up any wallpaper to make sure the paint is good and dry. Now in this case, I'm only papering two of the walls in this bathroom, and those are the walls I didn't paint. And I only painted the lower half of the wall because the wallpaper is only going to go down halfway. And here where you see my line, we're going to be putting some chair rail. So I'm good to go with putting the wallpaper up here because I've already sanded and washed it and made sure that it's nice and clean. The year was 1988. My children were small and I was in my 20s and we lived in our first home and I decided to wallpaper the kitchen and I had never done any wallpapering before. But luckily I had a grandmother who was very crafty and she could uh, paper toll and decoupage and she taught me how to crochet and sew and she could wallpaper. So I said, Grandma, come over and help me wallpaper in my kitchen. So she did. So she came over and she showed me how to lay the first piece and then she said, oh, okay, I'm leaving. And I'm like, Grandma, what do you mean you're leaving? And she said, look, she said, the only way that you're going to learn how to wallpaper is to do it yourself. She said, it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be mistakes, but I can tell you that no one's going to know where they are but you. 
And she was absolutely right. And I have used that knowledge that she gave me many times over the course of my lifetime to remind myself, because I can be somewhat of a perfectionist, Nothing is ever perfect and that's okay. You just do your best and no one's going to see the mistakes but you.
I picked up these two beautiful pillowcases from my local thrift store. They were 99 cents for both. How can you go wrong? I'm all about sustainability and using things that are already out there. And I absolutely love the eyelet detail along the bottom of these pillowcases. And I think that they are going to make a beautiful valance for our bathroom window.
Okay, so it's from the wall, 58 5 8 to the top, but at the bottom, it's a little bit shorter. It's like 58 and a half. So I think we're going to, if this, the mirror is probably square, the wall is probably moving out. But I'm going to go with the mirror being square. Okay, so what we're doing is we're framing in the mirror in the bathroom. And we looked at kits and we looked at what we had for a mirror and decided to just make our own frame. And so we bought some casing. It's 11 16 by 2 and a quarter by 7 foot. We bought three pieces. So we need to cut some clearance for the clips that are holding the mirror on so that the trim doesn't interfere with it and we can get the, the trim where we want. So I've set the chop saw up so that the blade comes down to a stop here and it can't go down any farther so I can cut the same depth. And then I just move, 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 move. And I've already set the piece up on the mirror and with a pencil marked where the clips were so that I knew where to cut it. And so I've already done that, but I'll show you how I did it. I cut the notch out, and now there's clearance for the, so this won't hit the clips, mirror clips. Clipless. So we're just showing you what we did to the edge of this. The bottom edge is going to sit right here 
on the top of this ledge and up against the mirror. There's a bead of caulk on here that that sticks out and we didn't want to have the mirror interfere with that so I cut a, an angle cut on here 45 degrees all the way down because you won't see it and that allows this to sit up against the mirror. Put that on the table saw before we assemble the frame. Now we're going to apply the two-sided tape. It's a 3M brand. It's supposed to be good stuff. So we're going to put it on this area right here. It's away from the beveled edge of the mirror. We have the tape on, but the protective backing is still on it. In order to install the mirror, we're going to pull that off and then we're going to rest it up on the, the ledge flat. We decided that's good and then push it into the corner before I start tilting it forward. And then I'm just going to kind of butt it up against there, making sure it's up against the side, and then we're going to, we're going to just give it a little push and push both sides and then we're going to stick the top. It's going to be beautiful. It's on the, it's on the backsplash, up against the corner. No going back now, folks. <laughs> We looked into purchasing a kit for this. We looked online and there are places that you can order these and buy them in a kit, but for a mirror this large, it was going to be $200. So we decided to make it ourselves. It cost us $48 for the wood and the double-sided tape and the can of spray paint. We already had the wood glue and the screws. So I'd say that's quite a savings and it looks just as nice. I think it looks awesome. It does, it looks beautiful. You did a wonderful job. So did you. <laughs> we make a great team. <laughs>
William Morris, who is sometimes known as the grandfather of the arts and crafts movement, was born in Britain during the Victorian era. He was a textile designer, wallpaper designer, a poet, artist, printer, and was also known for his tapestries and stained glass. He was inspired by nature in his designs, which feature leaves, vines, and flowers. He designed this wallpaper in 1876, and it is called Pimpernel. Our bathroom makeover is complete, and I couldn't be more happy. I think that it turned out absolutely beautifully. I really, really love the wallpaper. Um, I purchased this wallpaper on Amazon. It was $22 a roll, and we did two walls, and it cost me around $120 to do those walls. But this was nice quality wallpaper, and it has a little bit of texture on the outside of it, which really makes it look nice. The shower curtain I've had for about 10 10 years and I just washed it up and rehung it and it looks great in this space. Now the cabinet in this bathroom is original to the home and this home was built in 1978 and the original owners they milled and built that cabinet from cherry wood that was on this property. When they took trees down to build the home they custom built all the vanities and the kitchen cabinet and this is the only one in the house that was made of cherry and I just put a little scratch cover on it and it looks good as new. Now the countertop I'm sure originally would have been for mica and I'm guessing somewhere in the early 2000s they put in the granite and personally I love that brown granite. I just think the colors in it are beautiful and I'm really glad that that's the choice that they made because it looks so nice in this transformation. Now the chair rail was also previously used and we found this out in the barn. They had used it on some project and pulled it off and so um, we just cleaned it up. I filled the holes, sanded it down, repainted it and we put it up and it looks like new. The tile flooring in this bathroom is also original and it's so beautiful and it really looks like it could have been installed today. And I really wish that they would have used the same tile in the other two bathrooms because it hasn't fared so well over time. <laughs> now the rug I purchased from Walmart and I'm telling you it was $24. That is a steal. I looked so many different places for a rug this size and they wanted anywhere from $80 to $100 for a rug so I'm really pleased with this rug and I think it looks great with the wallpaper. So the most difficult part of this bathroom transformation was not putting up the wallpaper. Oh no, it was painting that linen closet. The linen closet was is very deep and I'm a small person with short arms and what happened was they nailed the shelving in so I couldn't get it out. So I just had to paint in between all of it and the hardest part was doing along the bottom and I did not include footage of me painting that because it wouldn't have been a pretty sight. <laughs> I had a heck of a time stuffing myself down under there and getting that painted. But in the end, it all turned out nice because now the linen closet is nice and bright and clean looking. Rick and I would like to thank you all so much for watching today's video. We greatly appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon with our next video. And until that time, bye bye.